Yo, 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 welcome to the channel again. UFC 310 is going up at the T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas this weekend, December 7 stroke December 8. And the headliners uh, Alexander Pantoja versus Kai Asakura will be the headliner. Co headliner will be Shak Shafkat Rachmanov versus I am Machado Gary. I'm very excited because uh, I think there was no fight last weekend, right? So this weekend we are getting treated to the best of the best. So let's look at the card. Let's see. Uh, let's predict. Let's pick. Let's analyze. Let's see what's there for us this weekend. Kennedy in the Chuku representing Nigeria versus Lukas Breski, Poland. Kennedy won his last fight against um, Chris Barnett, right? Yeah, uh, Chris Barnett, uh, that funny guy, he won his last fight. So I'm going with Kennedy on this one. Oh, I'm going on with Kennedy on this one. Clay Geda, OG versus uh, Chase Upa. Clay Geda versus Chase Upa. Oh, I think, um, you know, this guy has been in the octagon. For how many years now? He has been in the UFC for for a long time. This clay guy, that guy. So Chase Upa is a youngin coming up. So I think he has a lot to prove. So I'm going with Chase Upa on this one. This one, Michael Kiesa versus Max Griffin. Oh, uh, Michael Kiesa has not fought. Did he fight for a while? Let's check. I, I don't think he has fought for a while now. Um. Okay, he fought Tony Ferguson, right? Okay, August 3, 2024. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Everybody is beating Tony nowadays, so it's not a surprise. Tony is on nine winning, nine losing streak or so, right? So on this one, I think um I don't know, it's 50-50, but I'll go with I'll go with Michael on this one. Let's give him that benefit of doubt. This one uh Cody Robin Doden versus Joshua Van. Um this is Bantam with fights. Uh this one i don't i'm not really sure i think i will go with joshua van on this one this one chris Weidman versus eric Anders. i think he was supposed to fight uh, on the john jones tp card right i think the opponent pulled out all right i think so so uh he's fighting now um this guy i don't know um eric anders chris whiteman i'm going with eric anders on this one eric we'll do it randy brown brian battle this brown battle uh seems to be a legit guy coming up in the waterway division randy brown too has solidified himself in the waterway division he has proven that he belongs to the top 15 so uh who is going to take this i'll go with randy brown because of the i think he has more experience and the he has a um, um, longer reach right longer leg reach leg reach too so i'm going with randy brown on this mopsa evlov versus ajamin stalin now the thing is i don't understand why the ufc will put ajami stalin on prelim why do you think they put him on the prelim like it's he's a former champion for god's sake he's you know he has done a lot in the sport he defended his belt three times right so what else what else do they need why do you have to disrespect him like that i believe this guy is the most disrespected uh champion in the ufc like they don't just rate him at all at least maybe okay ufc 300 he, he performed against calvin keta they thought okay this guy maybe just a boring wrestler he doesn't really bring a lot in the octagon but 
you know you can't just he was a champion for a reason right before sean o'malley came and knocked him out and with that i believed because he, he defended his belt like three times before i believe they should have given him the rematch against o'malley but they didn't so i think ufc is just biased against this guy they are not treating him well at all at all most are ever love unbeaten you know undefeated 18-0 so who do you think will win this one uh the fight was supposed to take place before i think ajami stalin pulled out because of his injury of an injury so uh this one is will go to ajami stalin i want ajami stalin to win yes because all these undefeated guys i don't know where why they think they are invincible or something so i want i'm going with ajami stalin this one vincent luke versus temba gorimbo this fight was supposed to be against nick diaz right vincent luke versus nick diaz but nick is not in the right frame of mind now i think you know i don't know maybe all the substances they are using is affecting him or something so temba gorimbo had to step in to replace nick diaz right temba too has proven himself he has fought he has won his last three or four fights now so i'm going with temba gorimbo on this at least he should move to the top 15 to to start proving himself The next one, these are OGs, Dominic Reyes versus Anthony Smith. These are OGs of the sports. <laughs> they are on the same position, number 12 in the light heavyweight division. So, um, Dominic Reyes versus Anthony Smith. I'm 50 50 on this. I'm 50 50 on this. So, but I would like to go to. I would like to go with Dominic Reyes on this. Like, um, you won his last fight, right? So, let me just go with Dominic Reyes. I think you will get it done. Um, this one, Nate. These are the guys on the main event. Imagine these guys. I p- they put this guy over Jamie Stalin and Mosai Evlov <laughs> UFC. Very funny people. Nate Lando versus Du Choi. This one I'm going with Nate Lando. Bryce Mitchell versus Cron Gracie. This guy is f- full of jujitsu, right? Just doing. I think his fighting style is very archaic. He's very, very old. Very, I don't know. And he doesn't fight uh, every time. Like I don't know. I can't even remember the last time he fought. Maybe 2022 or something. Bryce Mitchell uh, fought recently, right? Um, I'm going with Bryce Mitchell on this. He's in the top, better form than this guy. So Bryce Mitchell will get it done. Sirigan versus Volkov. This guy is, is not a serious guy. This Sirigan guy. His last fight was August last year or so, September. He's, he has not been injured or something. You know, he was just out and he didn't fight anybody. He has been av- avoiding Thomas Pinnell. He said he wasn't avoiding him. He said he was supposed to fight him in, in March. I don't believe that. Um, let's see. The winner of this fight will actually fight for the belt. Uh, we don't know what John Jones is doing. You know, maybe you want to vacate the belt or you want to fight Thomas now. So, uh, this one I'm going with. I want Volkov to do it. I'm going with Volkov on this one. Um, Shafkat versus Ayam Machadogari, you know. Uh, Bella Mohamed pulled out because of his toe injury. Then uh, Shafkat was looking for opponent. They contacted Kamaru Usman and other people, but Machado stepped up. You know, kudos to Machado for stepping up. So, um, 
who who are we picking here? This this one to be very tough. It'll be a very tough one. Uh they have trained together before. We saw the clip somewhere. Um this one I'm going with uh, Machado Gary on this. Machado Gary will do it. Alexander Pantoja versus Kaya Sakura. I came from Rising. He was knocking people out in Rising in Japan. Now they didn't even allow him. They didn't even fight, allow him to fight top contender, maybe top five. They just gave him the title short straight. I'm not really a fan of people uh, pushing people to the title short immediately they come into the ufc i'm not really a fan you know we have seen so many things so many situations that you know they don't turn out well you know michael chandler was a typical example they tried to rush him to the title shot you know we have seen how his career is going on so um this one alexandra pantoja versus kai asakura i want pantoja to win I don't want these guys to just come from nowhere and beat. Pantoja has worked very hard to beat all the contenders, you know. So, let's go with Alexandra Pantoja. So, what are your picks? Who, who do you think will win? You know, share your comments. Like this video. Share this video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.